This morning, we're reminding you there's one week left to fill out a survey about short term rentals in the city of Overland Park. They're considering changes to how they oversee rentals for homes on sites like Airbnb or VRBO. That's right. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan gets us up to speed. Right now, property owners don't need to get any kind of city approval or registration to rent their homes in neighborhoods like this one on a short term. But in April, the city started reviewing its policies. The planning department said best estimates show of the 50 plus thousand single family homes in Overland Park, fewer than 200 are short term rentals. Part of the problem is it can be hard for the city to know which owners are renting houses this way. It's one of the things about emerging technologies and emerging industries like this is that it takes us a little bit of time to catch up. In the past five years, the city says it's received less than 50 formal complaints directly tied to a short term rental. But the murder of a woman who was staying at a short term rental in March partly prompted this policy review. Among the first steps toward making a change is to find out what the public thinks. So the city published a survey earlier this month on its website and already several hundred people have filled it out. We want people to feel comfortable in their homes, comfortable in their neighborhoods and and make sure that everybody who feels passionate about this one way or another has an opportunity to weigh in. You have till next Thursday, June 30th to fill out that online survey. There's a link on our website, KSA. HB.com. Then the city staff will analyze the results, come up with different options and present several options to the city council later this summer. Then there'll be a process throughout the fall to gather more feedback before anything becomes official. In Overland Park, I'm Charlie Keegan for KSHB 41 News.